Hey everyone, Matt Neufeld here with Explosive Edge Athletics in Edina, Minnesota, bringing you our first safety video of the week. Today we're going to talk about shoes and footwear, what's appropriate to wear, lifting and doing plows, and what's not. A couple quick things to think about, we like to see thin soles on our shoes, contrary to thicker ones with more cushion. Less cushion, research has actually shown to prevent injury and actually be more stable since your foot isn't taking all that time to come down and cushion itself. We like to see a low heel in our shoes, promote a little more dorsiflexion in our movements, make sure we're activating all the right muscles, and also make sure our center of gravity is in the right place. A heel that's too high can often shift your knee a little too far forward than we like to see in a lot of our exercises. Another big thing to focus on is fit. Find out what fits your foot well. Anything that doesn't, you're going to be sliding around too much, and even the best shoe not laced up properly is going to prevent you from being as stable as you want to be in your movements. Our first example here is my Nike running shoe. I love these things for going out and doing five or six miles at a time, but it's not something I'm going to wear in the gym. Even though this shoe is a pretty neutral ride with not a ton of extra cushion, it's still more than we like to see in movements that we want to be quick and explosive. It also keeps the heel a little higher than we want to see in most of our exercises. A better example of something is this shoe that I use during my workouts. It's actually a cross-country flat, but it keeps the heel nice and low. The sole is really thin, and they're nice and light, which I like. It's got a little bit of a plastic shank in the heel, so they're a little stiff, but how loose or stiff you want is going to be a matter of personal preference. Also make note that even though this has holes for spikes, you obviously aren't going to want those in your shoes doing workouts. Another cross-country shoe is this Nike Waffle. Again, really light. The Waffle design was made to be light and strong. Thin sole keeps the heel low, but unlike the Adidas shoe, it doesn't have as much of a shank in the middle, so it's a little looser, and all of these flats do a really good job of keeping you on the ball of your foot, directing force through the laces right where we want it to go. Another example that's really different is going to be our Kobe shoe here and a little bit thicker sole than the cross-country shoes, a little bit heavier, but still rides low on the ankle, still allows for a lot of good motion, and doesn't keep you way up on your heel like normal running shoes do. A big plus with these over the running shoes is the lateral support here. In those running shoes, they only care about directing force in a straight line. If you're gonna be moving laterally, you're gonna end up ripping right through those in a few sessions. So this is gonna be something a little more stable in all directions. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of some good stuff to wear while you're working out and some stuff that you maybe have been wearing that you shouldn't. Tune in next week for another safety tip here from Explosive Edge Athletics. We'll see you later.